Where do your customers hang out? How will they discover you? Why might they choose not to buy from you? These are the final parts of the brand avatar that we started building in the last episode. This is part three of the customer and brand avatars series. Because of course, this is the series where I give you a tip that you can apply to your e-commerce business to help you move it forward. No snake oil, no black hat, just solid been there, done that advice. I'm Ben Leonard and I built, scaled and sold an international seven figure e-commerce business. This is Ecom Made Easy. In part two, we spoke about your customers' goals, values, challenges, and pain points, and how aligning your brand with those things will make your customers relate better to your brand. But before anyone can relate with anything, they need to A, find your brand, and B, you need to bust their objections. We spoke last time about Liam the Lifter, a fitness fan who wants to get fit and lift heavy weights. He was a theoretical customer of my brand Beast Gear. How could Beast Gear get noticed by Liam so we could solve his problem and sell him the solution to that problem? Our products, of course. The answer is to get in front of him. Where does Liam spend his time online consuming electronic information? He's on Facebook in groups for strength training. He's on Instagram. He follows the top coaches. He posts photos and videos of his gym progress and he follows his friends there. He's on YouTube watching training tutorials, consuming fitness information. He's listening to podcasts about fitness training and he's reading blogs and websites from his favorite trainers and online fitness magazines. Now, how do I know all that? I know it because when I built Beast Gear, I was scratching my own itch. In other words, I was the customer. I understood fitness fans because I am a fitness fan. And that's why it's so important that you scratch your own itch and you build a brand around something you're passionate about, or at least have someone in your organization who is passionate about that. So if you're building a knitting brand and you're not interested in knitting, I urge you to bring someone into your organization who loves knitting or consider building a brand around another topic. So we know where Liam is hanging out online, but it's not as simple as just posting in these places and expecting sales to come in. We still need to understand a bit more about our customer to complete the avatar. We need to bust our customer's objections. Why isn't Liam going to buy from us just because we appear in a Facebook group he likes? So what are his objections to buying from Beastgear? Perhaps he considers that the equipment is too expensive. So we need to justify the price in our copy, in our sales page, on our website, on our Amazon listing, in our social posts, in our email marketing, in our chat bots. Maybe he doesn't know, like, and trust our brand yet. So we need to build trust by demonstrating competence, by producing helpful, compelling, free, engaging, useful content that shows him we know what we're talking about. So that could be blogs, videos, podcasts, could be helpful posts and infographics on social media. And maybe he just doesn't know that the equipment is going to help him solve his problems. And social proof is really great for that. Let's show images and videos on social media of influencers and our customers with user generated content using the equipment. You can follow Beast Gear's Instagram for great examples of user generated content. So now we know our customers' goals, values, challenges, pain points. We know where to find them online and we know their objections and we know how to bust those objections. We've basically built our customer avatar. Now we need to build a brand avatar to reflect the customer avatar. And that will be the subject of the next episode. So I hope that was helpful. Please subscribe and you can get more at www.benleonard.pro. Cheers. Ecom Made Easy is brought to you by Ecom Brokers. We sell your business for the best possible price, hassle-free. We've been there and done it on all sides. We've built, scaled, and sold our own seven-figure brands. We have over 20 years mergers and acquisitions experience, and we're expert e-commerce accountants. Visit ecombrokers.co.uk and let's find out what your business is worth.